just honor him right now. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, I want the church that I'm part of. I want the nation I'm part of, the city I'm part of. I want the nations to see a church that has such boldness and confidence in the blood of Jesus that's made them so sensitive and receptive to the anointing. They understand the purpose of the anointing to establish us as whole, functional people, free from dysfunction, moving into the planting of the Lord to display His splendor. And in that realm of the glory, exposed to that realm of the glory, the world does not convert us to their values and their temporal philosophies. But the realm of the glory of the churches and converts the world to the values of eternity. Reach into that realm of the glory. Let His love fill you. Counter His love. Heart, depth, length, and breadth. Worship leaders learn how to help people ascend and praise to corporate and then high praises to break through into the realm of the glory. Find out which songs have the melodies and the words that have the wings to catch the updraft of the Spirit. And if it's not working, kick out of that song. Find another one. Bring the house into the realms of the glory. More and more, God's people experience heart, depth, length, and breadth of the love of Christ, that the full measure of God may be manifested in the earth, not just on a Sunday morning meeting, but that God would do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think, right across the nations of the earth. Cities, like we saw temporarily for a season in Jerusalem and in other parts of the world in the first century, things that we've seen for three years in Wales, things we saw in the Zusa Street revivals, moments where the glory came and lingered. And so great was the change and the effects on time and eternity. So Lord, we believe that for 219 and on, it's not a two or three year revival. It's not a temporary move. We believe that you would be established in a realm where you do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask think or imagine according to the power of revelation of the love of Christ that's inside of us. More than we could ask or think or imagine. Lord have mercy on us when we stand in the shallows of the anointing and we expect you to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think or imagine. Help us to honor your word and come through these realms and ascend and access these realms faithfully. But Father, it comes more than we could ask or think or imagine. Just lift your hands and just ask him what you can imagine. Ask him what you can think. Ask him for the revelation of these areas to become real, not just while you're exposed to this teaching, but in the days and weeks and months ahead. Year after year, decade after decade, keep going from glory to glory. Don't let disappointments make you cynical. Let God turn disappointments into divine appointments. Let disappointments become stepping stones to a greater level of glory. Peter says, when persecution is coming on you, let it be not because of evil deeds, but because of your righteous deeds. For when you're persecuted for righteousness, the glory of God rests upon you. Father, we repent for taking so much of the world's values and priorities and passions. Help us, Father, to be like Jesus. To not be weird, religious, and strange. Help us to be people that sinners can relate to. But Lord, let there be that realm of the glory over our lives that when people leave us or go from meeting us, they have a high opinion of your goodness. Now that realm of glory is just coming in. We're leaving you in a few minutes, but we're with you trust that you would walk and live 
and grow and develop in the realms of the glory. Don't be discouraged by anything. Don't give up for anything. Stay faithful. Get healed of everything in the anointing and in the glory. Go on to greatness. You're part of a local church. Honor your pastor. Honor the leaders. Honor people, even if you don't agree with everything. Learn to be humble. Learn to be wise. Learn how to communicate with emotional intelligence. Don't live in the spirit of this world that's so opinionated and bigoted because of knowledge. Don't use your freedoms to confuse people. Knowledge puffs up. Sure, we can eat food offered to idols, Paul says. Those demons behind the idols are not going to affect the believer. But love is greater than knowledge, Paul says. So if you're going to affect someone by eating that food, rather not eat it, even though you can eat it in your own conscience. Don't live to prove your freedom. That's been religious. If you've got to prove you're free, you're not free. Be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge yourself. Don't argue and conflict with everybody. That's worldly wisdom. Learn how to get on with people. Learn how to confront, work through issues and conflict with wisdom redemptively. Don't let anything shipwreck you. Paul says, stay with the prophecies that have been made over your life, Timothy, so that you will not allow your life to be shipwrecked. He said, war according to the prophecies spoken over you so that you will not be shipwrecked. Friends, a ship doesn't get shipwrecked in the harbor. It gets shipwrecked out there on the journey. If you've been on the journey following Christ, storms have come and you haven't stood in the promises of God and you've allowed yourself to be shipwrecked, a miscarriage. Don't believe destiny has been stopped or hijacked. Stay faithful. Eternity, heaven is far more important and real than this world. Live with eternity in mind. Even where you are right now, I believe the Lord's wrapping His arms around you to love you, to honor you. He's not there to judge you or condemn you for things you've done or said. He's with you. He's drawing you into your future. There's wonderful plans. I pray that from this ministry time in Hong Kong, that His glory will travel to nations, to churches, to regions, to politicians, to journalists, to people in media and business, science, raising children, people in education. God wants a collaboration around the nations of the earth that the seed of Abraham bring the glory of God to the nations. They're crying out. They desire to see the glory of God. Let's do it together in Jesus' name.